welcome. We did it. We did it. Oh, finally. <laughs> we managed to come on. We did it. We Hi, did it. thanks for thanks for inviting me, Gwen. Oh, thanks for inviting it's me. Really lovely to have you here. I'll just um start just to kind of uh let people know what we're planning for tonight. So uh, mm -hmm. if you're just joining us, um, I've got joining me the lovely Nikki Dutta. And Nikki isn't just a QHT, H, QHHT practitioner, I should say. Um, she's also um, an NLP practitioner, CBT therapist. She's a spiritual coach, counselor as well. She's a trance meditation teacher, uh, Akashic Records guide, I imagine that would be past life regressionist and psychic medium medium intuitive so she's very multi-talented multi-gifted um it's a real pleasure to have her here tonight thank you for joining me nikki um but how this all came about is i had a qhht session with nikki um she was recommended to me by one of my um students and very good friend carol reiki stars on here now um and so i just thought that my experience was just so profound. I just wanted to sort of share you with everybody else because literally I spent all day with you, um, which I love. So for me, it was like the thought of joining you all day was like going to a spa or something like that. I so needed some attachment. <laughs> I've been healing over and over and over other people. So, and it is nice, although I do myself break key, sometimes it's nice to get out of the way and go and see someone and just have them you know, kind of work with you and you just need to relax and follow and be guided by them. Um, I won't give away too much in terms of the structure of the day because I know you're going to talk about that. But um, it was an, such a beautiful experience in different phases. And I know you bring a different mix to it because of all the, the gifts and the, the things that you do. Um, it's quite a unique experience, possibly compared to other QHHT experiences. But welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here to join me. Um, and... Uh, I guess we'll probably start by just sort of um, just finding out a little bit more about you and your journey. You've obviously done a lot of things, but how, what brought you to QHHT particularly initially? Uh, and mm -hmm. we'll kind of go from there. But thank you so much for being here, Nikki. So first of all, Gwen, thanks for inviting me. It's a really a big pleasure, you know, to be part of this. And honestly, this is my first uh, Instagram live. Yay. And I was actually panicking, like, oh, my God, am I supposed <laughs> to do it? But finally, we made it. I'm happy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, well, regarding my journey, um, well, my journey has been um, uh, a really incredible one. Um, I could just say that uh, I started up as a psychic medium. Mm -hmm. So that was my first thing that ever happened was, you know, getting awakening. And uh, I could only help, uh, you know, ask thanks to my father because he's always there with me. And um, it's only through his um, passing away, I got my awakening, which was a huge one. And after that, you know, there was no stopping. And um, so the first thing that I actually stumbled upon was, was um, being a medium. And the journey was all about kind of working and seeing things and kind of understanding things because it could be at times, you know, that you're so busy with life, you know, trying to earn some money and get, you know, food on your table and all those kind of things that we forget that there's more to life. Yeah. And we kind of totally don't see the other side. And there's a huge side, really, mm -hmm. that we have not even tapped into. And as of, as I was moving on and kind of doing these things, you know, I actually stumbled upon QHHT. So QHSG basically is something that I really adore and it's very, very close to me and my heart because I get opportunity to help people and in various different ways and methods. Mm -hmm. And I incorporate my way of working. So my modality is a little different where I incorporate other aspects of my gifts that I come into. Mm -hmm. And it, it just kind of makes it more than brilliant. <laughs> That's yeah. how I can say and um and yeah i mean qhst so if i have to talk about qhst the 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 full form of it is quantum healing hypnosis technique so it is a hypnotic technique that you know uh we work on which is working with the theta or the altered state of mind yeah and this basically you know technique was um created and developed by dolores cannon late dolores cannon and 
gosh, I can't tell you enough about this wonderful and lovely lady. She is the one who, um, because being a medium, she had passed in 2014. Mm -hmm. She had come through to me uh, in spirits in order to kind of handpick her student in order to tell that you need to do this work. Wow. And I, I, can't, I can't tell you enough of how I just kind of, you know, went on the spree of, oh, my God, I've got a celebrity come through to me. <laughs> and <laughs> it, was, it was amazing because until then, I was just being a medium, giving people readings, you know, or oh, your, your granddad has come in, your mom is here, or your dog is here, you know, all those kind of things. And suddenly there is Dolores Cannon, this amazing lady standing in front of me and telling me, giving me the, the thing, command of like, you need, really need to do this work. Mm -hmm. So as you would even know, um, Gwen, that we always have guides around us mm -hmm. guiding us mm -hmm. and kind of influencing us in what you really need to do. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was more than really, I, will, I was always interested with past lives, yeah. always interested since I was really young. Yeah. And I, I really thought that, you know, there's always something more or something more that I really need to do and just didn't know what. Mm -hmm. And I've read uh, Dolores Cannon's books, which is a lot to do with past lives and parallel lives and other, you know, mystic stuff. Mm -hmm. And I really couldn't believe that she came through in order to tell me that you really need to do this work. It's almost like, you know, my guides are like, the elephant is here. Now, this is what you really need to do. We've been telling you for all this time. You're not listening. <laughs> so that's how I actually stumbled upon QHST. And yeah. after that, you know, going on to doing other aspects of therapist work, um, also doing like CBT and NLP, you know, that came, it was one of the things that you have to work with because it's a neurological thing. So it works better with, you know, you know the, the thing with QHHD as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. I didn't know that. I didn't know she, she was one of your guys. That's amazing. Oh, yes. Thank yeah, you. yes. And she sometimes comes through, any which ways when my client is sitting there. So she will wow. nudge me and she will actually ask, you know, speak about a few things. And unless and until like, sometimes I really feel that this particular client will be a little tricky for me. I always ask for help and she always shows up. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. But yeah, we do all have our spirit guides or guardian angels all around us. So it's great to, to reassure people to tap into that. Um, but in terms of QHHT now, it would be great to kind of understand a little bit about it. I know anything which has the word hypnosis in it, people get a little mm -hmm. bit scared of that as well, thinking they're going to be out of control. You're going to have them clucking like a chicken and then suddenly <laughs> you won't be able to get them out of it and they have to go to work and cluck like a chicken. So, yeah, so there's that <laughs> element that people are a little bit kind of frightened of um, but or, or just need reassurance of, yeah? So, but it'd be lovely to kind of hear exactly what QHHT is, what people can expect if they were to come and see you, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you do it a little bit differently, but it'd be nice to start with a pure QHHT. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So let me just tell you, um, as I mentioned earlier, QHHT, the full form is quantum healing hypnosis technique. Okay. So this basically is to do with the quantum side of healing, mm -hmm. not the sensory side of healing. So when I talk about sensory is we don't work with a conscious mind. We work with the subconscious mind or with a higher self. Okay. So you can call about whether it is um, the over soul. There's various names that you could give. But at the end of the day, you're working with your guides. You're working with your higher self. Mm -hmm. And what it really does is it's a very powerful technique in order to tap into with when you're in a very, very like getting into a theta state and altered state of mind where consciousness is something that never dies. Mm -hmm. It carries on. OK, and consciousness is something where it can, you can tap into any aspects of your life whichever life that you've been through, whether it was on Earth or any other planet or any other dimension that you've been, you could go and tap into those things. And QHST helps and does this really, really well. Mm -hmm. And not only with QHST. So what happens is we start on by um, 
having an interview with uh, with a client mm -hmm. and that is only to let them know that it's not about you know cluck like a chicken or bark like a dog because <laughs> that is that is something that everybody thinks you know they really feel that you know it's it's a thing where i have to kind of you know give up myself entirely and then i don't know what i'm going to say yeah. or i will not be aware of yeah. you will be aware of everything mm -hmm. you will be aware but you will be in a very very relaxed state of mind mm -hmm. okay so that's where you're there yeah. and it is almost like you know we are about to wake up uh when you are when you're sleeping or we are about to go to sleep yeah. that's the state that we are talking about yeah and that is the amazing that sweet spot that we hit in QHHT where loads and loads of stuff that you can come out with especially with healing because there is this just not about the hypnosis to do and you know find out about your past life the reason why we do that is we find out what is the problem that you brought forward as a soul imprint mm -hmm. so when we talk about soul imprint you know you you may have done something in one of your lives and you're holding on to that mm -hmm. really really tight mm -hmm. so what we do is we get the aspects and this is not that me taking you it's your higher self your guides taking you through that in order for you to see where the problem lies yeah so me as a practitioner is only and only facilitating the entire thing mm -hmm. and at the end of the day it's you doing you and your guides and your higher self is doing the entire work yeah and so some people really feel that you know they will be entirely off and it's yeah. more like as if an anesthesia has been given and you're totally gone no it doesn't really work yeah. that way this will be really much in control yeah i know i mean with your <laughs> your setting as well you know mm -hmm. and honestly you know everybody has that that thing in their mind which we also call the ego mind because the ego mind likes to kind of question a lot of things mm -hmm. and um and i i really know one thing that once the why and when kind of stops okay i know that the other side has awakened <laughs> so and slowly and gradually people get you into it but it is it is a it is a very very you know safe method there is nothing to be scared of mm -hmm. and honestly i can just tell you that qhsg is a, such a lovely space where you are your subconscious when your higher self has started talking and you get your messages through your higher self mm -hmm. it's like people are usually in tears and things that they they may be embedding in, inside them suppressing inside them mm -hmm. they might know that there is something there uh, but they're not able to take it out or you know speak about it this entire thing helps to take it up and bring it out you know and that's where the healing actually starts yeah so that's that's really you know in depth of how really you know the qhst thing works yeah. but it's an awesome method and uh, people really get scared because they think that oh my god is this is for 5 to 6 hours that's a lot of hours and i say that you know you won't be even you know you won't even realize that that many hours yeah, have just gone super quickly yeah and then there's also that the questioning as aspect of qhht right which is you know you come with your questions that you want to ask your subconscious mind which is really powerful as well um do you want to talk a little bit more about that that side as well yeah so so i basically ask um you know that my clients to get questions of whatever they would like to ask their higher self mm -hmm. and usually the first the top most question that they have is um what's my life purpose you know that's the main <laughs> one everybody comes up with that i mean i've hardly seen anyone unless that person is really enlightened from within they know what their work is yeah. otherwise everybody has got that one thing that am i doing it right yeah. am i in the right path you know that's the first thing they say so um what i would say that you know i mean the higher self knows everything yeah the higher self or the subconscious which Dolores has named it the sc she used to say it sc and we we as a practitioner we use the word sc so the sc knows everything mm -hmm. the sc is very healing the sc is very caring mm -hmm. but the sc is also not sugar coating anything yeah. okay so because you know like it's almost like when parents you know if if kids are doing something in front of someone they will just kind of nudge them down and say don't do this don't do that that's that's how your sc is as well yeah, yeah. but it will never tell you that um 
that, you know, she did that, but I, it's okay. No, they will say she did this and it was not nice for her to do it. Mm -hmm. So I believe that she, I, I mean, we believe that they come as a whole lot, as, as a collective. Mm -hmm. So your SC or your higher self doesn't come as one person. Mm -hmm. It actually comes as a collective. Mm -hmm. So it's like we, we have said it, we, and we just know that it's hit the right spot where now the higher self has come through and actually speaking. Mm -hmm. So yes, the questions normally are being answered. And they're super quick because sometimes I don't even have to ask one question after another. Mm -hmm. It goes bang, bang, bang. I mean, like they just know the questions and they just kind of say everything out mm -hmm. and they give you time limits. So if I ask in how many years is this going to happen or that going to happen, they quickly give the answers as well. Yeah, yeah. But it's all about visualizing it. And so people think that I'm not able to see anything. Oh my God, how am I supposed to do this? It's the inner knowing. So it's really the gut feeling from there. Mm -hmm. And because with the QHSG, the hypnosis technique, we kind of, tr we move the left side entirely out and we amplify the right side. And when the right side is being amplified, yes, the brain, sorry. So the brain, so the right side is amplified. Sorry, I've been like talking left and right. I smell me. Fun. For me, it's the brain. <laughs> so... So, yeah. And so what I do is like, you know, we amplify the, the right side of the brain entirely. Mm -hmm. So the ego does not, you know, is not there at all. It, it just kind of vanishes off. And it's the entire connection that's made with your higher self mm -hmm. directing you what to say and how to go about it. And it just starts one after another. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I always feel that um, I'm always kind of excited when a client comes through because it's like, ooh, new story. What am I going to get in today? <laughs> so cool. so it, it, it's fun. It's fun yeah. being, you know, doing this work. <laughs> yeah, because the, the stages were, um, you know, I, I came to see you and we talked. I literally had to tell you my life story, which was very emotional to do, but actually quite it was a, a huge release because there's things you don't normally say to anyone that kind of can come up and out. And we know that with even with any sort of, you know, we hold so much in and being able to talk, it comes up and out of the body. So that was in, in itself, that was still the start of the healing mm -hmm. process. Um, and then, you know, we, we did the past life regression, that was right, uh, with, with the where you're kind of talking yourself. So it feels a little bit, am I really doing this as it's happening? Because it's you, your voice, you're talking, but it is your higher self mm -hmm. kind of, it's just coming through. It feels a little bit different, as you say. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, the healing at the end sort of um, took place after that, which was beautiful just to feel that energy flowing through. It was just amazing. But are they the, the main sort of sections, I guess, of QHHT? Yeah. So right? if I have to, yeah, if we start with, um, an interview. Now, I say, I mean, I've been taught to say it as an interview, yeah, but I like to say a chit chat yeah. session. Okay. Yeah, it's very <laughs> informal. Very go long. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, because the interview becomes very formal, and I totally don't want any of my clients to know that this is a formal thing. This is actually a very, very relaxing thing. Mm -hmm. People don't realize that as soon as they really step in, you know, and, and you know, to my house, and then they sit down and they start talking, the healing actually starts from there mm. you know so it, it's more like you are releasing anything and everything that's happened in your life that you start talking about so mm. I just say that just think of me being an old friend meeting you after mm. a long time and you're just having a chit chat with mm. the person okay so just take me as one and you know just carry on mm. and as the person starts growing they also don't realize like I've had so many clients actually even say that gosh, I don't even remember saying this to anybody yeah. and I'm talking that to you. Yeah. So I can just tell that, you know, they've opened themselves entirely whilst they speak. Mm -hmm. And that is that is part of healing too. You know, we don't realize. We just think that, oh, hypnosis, that's where we're getting the healing. The healing starts from the interview itself. Mm -hmm. And so we find out every root cause. So not only that we are finding out about the past life, we're also finding out about the present life, what the client is going through. Mm -hmm. So say I've had, um, my, my huge clients have been cancer patients. Mm -hmm. So they have come through and, um, and this is an amazing way mm -hmm. how you could actually even cure cancer. Mm -hmm. and people think that you really need 
the medications, you really need that therapy in order to get there. No, well, it's something that has been embedded inside you, hence it is now erupted as mm. a physical symptom. Mm. And that even is cancer. Mm. And, you know, usually, like how Dolores have already mentioned, that usually it is anger, suppressed anger leading to cancer. Mm. So sometimes, someday, you know, you know, that person will be going through so much yeah. and that stage was really, really hard for that person to take. Mm. And um, you just learn to shut up and not say a word and keep quiet entirely and maybe just suppress that again and again and mm. again. Mm. And that kind of comes into your mind, your emotions, but you suppress it just because you don't want to show. Mm. And that actually goes inside and embedded inside as cancer. Mm. So I always say to my clients, let it go. Mm. And it's it's easy to say than done, I understand. Yeah. But the let go, yeah, the let go word is actually all to do for yourself, mm. and not for anybody else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we, we start by the the interview we speak about anything and everything that my client has gone through mm -hmm. and till, till the time that they're right now mm -hmm. you know so all that and that actually takes a good chunk of time away yeah. okay and, and because it is like a chit chat session they don't realize that they've been talking almost for five hours not not five hours sorry four hours they've been just talking okay mm -hmm. and when they like look at the watch and they're like oh my god so much of time is gone and we're not even done the session and i'm like thinking well you've done quite a lot already yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah and then and then it's like we move into the hypnosis mm -hmm. now i already give a lot of understanding of how it may feel so it may be also that you're not seeing anything like some people are just seeing colors or entirely black you know so we may just go into like why they're seeing that okay and then i will ask them that because the right side of the brain is all the psychic side you know mm -hmm. then it's, it's mainly your inner seeing you know your inner knowing, okay, your understanding. Now that is the higher self giving you. So even if you're getting emotional, like everybody does get yeah. emotional yeah. in the session, okay, you would know that too, Gwen. Yeah. So, so it's, it's it's mainly, you know, why is a person getting emotional? So think about that, you know. Obviously, it's hit something over there, mm -hmm. and that's the reason the person is getting emotional because it's he's he or she is reliving that entire past life or whatever life that they are in and they're reliving that again. Mm. So they get emotional, they tell me the story, however it is, whatever it is. And usually these stories, okay, have so much of connection compared to what they are doing right now. Mm -hmm. So it could be a like a uh, entire opposite. It could be something totally opposite. Or it could be something that they are, you know, you know, any problems that they have. Like I've had people with phobias. Mm -hmm. So usually the first phobia that they come up with is height, you know. Mm -hmm. So they all do, oh my God, I have got this thing about height. I had um I had a client with phobia of rice. Okay. And I was like Okay. Why? <laughs> I was like, how and why? And um, and I still remember, you know, when we gone go went into her past life, we realized that obviously she was she was being murdered and being thrown at some point, you know. Now this is her past life you're talking about, mm -hmm. and she was being like there were loads of maggots, and that's where it all triggered from. OK, so wow. it could be something like that, mm -hmm. which is, again, to do with um, soul imprint. Mm -hmm. You've brought that or somebody have like, you know, drowned and have died. And there was another one also with with, uh, you know, with water, phobia for water. Mm -hmm. And they, they hated water. They they just kind of just can't stand like they feel like something's going to happen. Now, this is a woman that I'm talking about was a man in one of her past lives. And you could be anybody. You could be a man. You could be a woman. You could be a child. You could be an old man. You could be a higher being if, if that's the, the thing that you have been before. Okay. And and you have, you know, the, this person was being dragged away through a boat and then somehow he drowned and there was a huge stone fell on top of him. So though he knew how to kind of uh, even swim a little bit, mm. 
he was not able to do that and he drowned and he died mm. and that 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 woman has got you know huge issues with water mm. so as soon as we did that regression it quickly went away okay. and 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 it was it was amazing like how you know things can get triggered for mm. something like this and mm. you can bring those aspects in your present life yeah and not so this is how we did things yeah okay yeah, incredible so and and then we move into the higher self now mm-hmm. the higher self with, with all those questions that they come up with you know i not only use those questions but along the line if i know that there are some questions that could be asked in order for the healing mm. i go ahead and ask them mm. usually it's also been given by my own guides like this and this could help so i go ahead because i also work intuitively mm. so i you know i i go ahead and ask those questions that gives them a lot of release a lot of understanding mm. and also because i throw a few questions in where the mind doesn't even know that this is coming in because you know what it's it's at the end of the day you've written the questions so you are aware of those <laughs> questions are coming so so yeah. when i kind of throw these questions is like okay what am i supposed to say now well yeah. now move the way and let's just allow the higher self to just speak and be with you and that's when how things just come up and mm-hmm. it's amazing how lovely you know stuff that the higher self mentions um the one thing that the higher self has mentioned in one of the one of my clients was that make sure you drink loads and loads of water mm. and i was like why you always ask about why every time water is given so much of importance mm. and the answer that they gave was um because water is something that does in human body if we kind of give out the secret or we tell it this will be actually sold out just like gold or petrol so mind you drink loads of water okay. in, in case you don't like water yeah, and, yeah <laughs> and, it really and, carries information well, well yeah we know it carries a lot of information water mm-hmm. yeah definitely so um, there is there is a lot of there's a lot of stuff in water and mm-hmm. and you know mind you you get these kind of answers coming back yeah. from your higher yeah. self so <laughs> thank you <laughs> Oh, how funny. Yeah. So, yeah, and and after we finish off uh with, you know, all the answers and questions with higher self and then we go into the healing. Mm-hmm. So, it's it's almost like I've I've seen people so you being a beautiful reiki master, people who are not even meditative have yeah. never meditated in, in their entire life. They feel the energy working through them. Mm-hmm. and that's how powerful these sessions are yeah. so these are healings from spiritual blockage if you have any mm-hmm. if you have any sort of physical issues in 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 your body mm-hmm. you have any mental uh, uh issues like you know depression or you know even societal stuff you know that you, a person is thinking about mm-hmm. anything that is very deep and dark you know yeah. you, you all can all can get released with this and it's an amazing and a lovely lovely technique yeah. so yeah yeah it's amazing so in terms of obviously we've gone through um or cb <laughs> we've gone through the amazing <laughs> gifts that you have so how do you do it differently compared to other qhht practitioners what's different about your session well i'll tell you what i um when the when actually when i open the door and have the client come in yeah. i just know the client is not coming just you know just have not arrived alone mm-hmm. he's arrived with at least more than 10 20 you know <laughs> entities or energies whatever that you say you know along with it mm-hmm. now this could be loved ones from the past mm-hmm. and you know your own guides okay or also you know ascended masters at times because strong people like you evolve people like you okay you also work with higher realm you know energies mm-hmm. which you don't realize and those all kind of they all work together mm-hmm. when it comes to healing mm-hmm. and being a clairvoyant you know i see how the healing has been done so i i physically could see from my eyes of how the energies are kind of moving mm-hmm. or if if the higher self is like in you know, a higher self has come in and the loved ones you know so it could mm-hmm. be your granddad your grandma you know you could be anything kind of working 
with um you know like putting keeping your hands down or trying to keep your shoulders straight so that you don't move and then you know my clients sometimes just ask that nikki did you were you were you tapping me on my shoulder and i was like no <laughs> no i have not tapped you at all <laughs> but then that is basically you can see the amount of love they come with so that you receive the healing mm -hmm. and this also shows that you have got so much of um you know love and support around you you're never alone mm -hmm. and uh, along with that so with that you know i also get messages pouring in like mm -hmm. i start getting messages and that time sometimes it is so hard for me to not speak and i have to kind of allow them to talk yeah and then you know the messages kind of flow in uh, because i am a channeler and i also kind of i'm 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 a um, medium so mm -hmm. it comes up and i kind of give uh, you know the reading or whatever mm -hmm. you know that they would want because usually whenever they coming that strong they always there's a message behind it yeah. and that message also gives a lot of healing Yeah. so some people are holding on to issues so i can give you an example now this was an amazing example that i can share mm -hmm. um this was with a man who had uh his grandfather had passed mm -hmm. and um uh, his his grandfather passed in a different country altogether mm -hmm. and he was here mm -hmm. and uh it seemed like when the grandfather was passing he he actually got phone calls to tell him uh like you know this is what the situation is if you yeah. can't fly in and just you know be there and i don't know what came to him he just he was just didn't want to do it so he didn't come you know he 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 didn't he didn't come to see his father, uh, granddad at all yeah and what then happened was um his granddad you know um came through in the session so the grand uh, granddad his voice changed his granddad started talking and then um suddenly my client started tearing up because he had such a huge guilt that because the message from his granddad was don't worry it was all meant to be the way it was you were not supposed to be with me because at the end of the day if you were supposed to be with me uh, it would have been harder for me to pass mm. so that it was meant it was something that was contracted which i also say that this is behind the scenes that we when we are coming to the human form we forget about these things mm -hmm. so that is something that has happened in the soul side that they have contracted that when i'm passing i would want you to stay you know stay away so that it becomes easy for me to pass mm -hmm. and and he was holding that huge guilt in him mm -hmm. and that gave him instant and instant kind of release mm -hmm. and he felt amazing because mm -hmm. he he had loads of tummy issues a lot of problem with his tummy mm -hmm. and that all came from from the guilt that was yeah. holding in oh, so yeah. yeah so it was brilliant because his granddad came not only through me but mm -hmm. also in the session so that was brilliant the way actually he came in so yes i i do incorporate a lot of work uh of my own because it's not that i i kind of go ahead and do it it's like i just have to do it yeah, yeah. <laughs> when when spirits come through i kind of go ahead and give the message because they come with a lot of love and that message is very important for the person yeah. so yeah this is how i incorporate my work as well so yeah it's really it makes it such a beautiful profound experience really really sort of rich experience i mean i hadn't had qhx2 before but that element did elevate it in terms of bringing that kind of peace around some questions you might have around loved ones who've passed Mm -hmm. um and you you get that closure as well which is yeah. beautiful and with the healing following it it is just perfect um so yeah that oh, it is really overwhelming honestly it is quite overwhelming because uh if i don't have um a single like if i don't have i just know that my clients are going to cry yeah <laughs> it's it's an obvious thing that they're going to cry yeah. so when if if they don't cry i just kind of question what happened here yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, 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 i've seen always um, around at least 99.9% of my clients always are shedding and remember i mean you being um, a reiki healer you know that when you're crying you're releasing yeah, just... you're releasing which is again healing mm -hmm. so so yeah it's 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 beautiful it's yeah. beautiful the experience It's an amazing experience. Oh, thank you so much for taking us through that and the journey and it does seem very profound. And it's a deep experience. I guess it may not be for 
anyone who's too lighthearted, but do they have to be kind of open to the fact of that having guides and what can happen, or are you preparing them for that during the interview <laughs> for what can happen? Do most people well, I'll, I'll tell you something. So when you mentioned that, is it not for lighthearted? It's absolute for everyone. Great. Everyone can do this. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you uh, an example. Now, this example I give most of my clients because that actually puts them to ease. Mm -hmm. um, so I had uh, a lady who came through. Um, she works in an IT firm, uh, very, very logical minded very analytical so entirely her left brain works more than the right okay yeah. she's never meditated ever in her entire life and um she's also has uh, like she has some health issues huge health issues she had a hip she was about to go for a hip re replacement mm -hmm. and she was petrified she was petrified because she just had an understanding that somehow the operation is going to go wrong and she will be ending up in, in, you know, a, in a, in a bed the whole, whole life. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, when, when I started talking to her, I just realized she doesn't believe in guides. Mm -hmm. She doesn't believe in spirits. She doesn't believe in anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as I say, you know, this is for everybody. So this was one of those people. Okay. Yeah. So who didn't want to do anything about these woo woo stuff okay yeah. so what happened then so she came in okay we had a very very good um talk chat everything was fine we went on the session amazing session she she spoke her her whole past life was very profound mm -hmm. she cried loads and then you know everything happened and later on we go through a debriefing so as soon as you you know move out i bring them up yeah. we sit down and we chit chat a little bit about what has happened in the session and a lot of understanding has been given mm -hmm. so while we, she sat there she just kind of um just quietly and politely just said this thing like you know what nikki i know that you mentioned about all that thing but i think i made this entire thing up and i was like well that is an aspect of the ego that wants to say that it's done the work and it's made everything up and doesn't want to realize that this is you know the actual thing that has mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. and she's very analytical so that's quite obvious for her to mm -hmm. say it mm -hmm. so what really happened i just asked her why do you say that you know and then she goes well you know what nikki yesterday night i was thinking about the session and i was tossing and turning around couldn't really sleep so i just you know um, thought of watching television and what just started watching television i'm like okay and she started scrolling and then as soon as you know she saw uh, there was a movie that was going on which was right at the end she kind of got drawn to watching that movie and she watched the entire movie. And then she says that the past life regression that we spoke about, I just narrated that movie to you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and I asked her, can you just tell me about the movie? So she mentioned what happened in the movie. And um, well, and she, she said that, you know, this is what really uh, I feel that I just made the entire thing up. Mm -hmm. So I had to kind of halt her and I said, let's take your perception, not let's entirely deny it, but put it at one side and let's see what we got here. Yeah. So I didn't ask that, is this the only movie that you watched in your entire life? And she goes, no. And I said, then why did you choose picking up this movie uh, as one of your things to speak in your past life mm -hmm. just because it was so you know fresh in my mind yeah. i said okay so then we i asked the next question is that the movie the way it ended so even her life the way it ended was kind of brutal okay and it had to do with her hip area okay yeah. so when uh when that happened i was like well that's coincidental isn't it and she she didn't realize that she goes oh yeah that makes sense and i was like yes and then i asked that why would you choose to end your life if you're making it up yeah. in such a terrible state mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you would rather choose to be a queen or a king you know that's the the good things isn't it yeah. and she goes yeah that makes sense yeah. so i was like now let's let's go back okay and let's see how the divine works or your guides and your higher self works yeah so i would say that 
because you are a very very analytical person you know your guides had a plan for you okay mm-hmm. so because they knew that you are someone who entirely you know feels agitated because if you're not sure about something or something new is going on and you don't know entirely what to do about it you go into anxiety so she's like yeah that's right and i said and that is a the reason they kind of made you um influence you to watch a movie and coincidentally which they say but i know that there's no such thing as being coincident yeah. um that you were being pu- put to watch that particular movie at that time and then when you are actually you know doing the session it was been brought up and so that you can quickly just talk about that mm-hmm. and i asked her you mentioned the end part of the movie what about the rest of it you know because we did do a lot of you know how and why and yeah. who must do yeah. it and she goes you know um you know what nikki i just kind of made that up mm-hmm. <laughs> i just kind of take this and that together and i just together and i just told her that no well this doesn't really happen whatever that you're sensing and feeling is what was what you were giving mm-hmm. and that is what really happened so she got an amazing and a lovely you know healing in her body because she was her hip area so her hip area was and one of the sides of the hip was like fallen down mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so that was a bone structure and that is the reason they had to have the surgery done mm-hmm. so there was a lot of swelling and a lot of and she was in pain this lady mm-hmm. so as soon as she woke i mean as soon as she woke up and she got up she could really walk a bit better than how she was walking already it was this happened already yeah okay and so but then i didn't say anything but i have a habit of always checking on my clients mm-hmm. always i make sure that i ask second i call them up i ask yeah. them how they're doing how's everything going yeah and that day you know the second day the lady mentioned that yeah it, the, the pain seems to be a little gone um swelling seems to have gone already a little but then she because she's analytical she just went well, i'll let you know in the coming few weeks mm-hmm. okay and then i had no call absolutely no call from there and then after one and a half month i've already forgotten this lady to be honest and she's giving me a call she saying um i picked up the call i forgot her and she kind of reminded i'm that lady you know the one who watched television i'm like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um she you know we we spoke and she's like i'm actually standing in the surgery and um i was supposed to have a surgery done today and i already was feeling that my walking has gone much better she was also taking walks at that time so the whole lockdown situation at that time you know she was taking walks yeah. and this lady couldn't walk properly mm-hmm. so she was like i i was kind of sure that something has changed but i wasn't when i really wanted to have the x-ray done so um the nhs people did not kind of you know gave her an appointment at that time and they said you just have to come on the same day when we have scheduled you for the surgery so she went in the doctors took another x-ray and they had both the x-rays in front okay mm-hmm. and they were shocked they were like it looks like two different people's x-ray in front of us so no medications nothing and now the the bone has somehow just moved up and they are like together joined there's no swelling nothing the doctors just say that you could go and whatever that you were doing carry on doing that <laughs> that's amazing That's a so this is this is one of the things and this lady now is total believer yeah <laughs> she meditates is. now yeah she's she's she, she meditates now she's too much into it so she's now gone in but she's i mean she was one of those people who never believed in any of these things so yeah. there you go <laughs> yeah it's a great example of someone who's skeptical but if things find a way of happening and working we don't know how it's going to happen but yeah it's just amazing that she had that healing <laughs> and didn't think she had you thought she made it all up <laughs> yeah exactly exactly that that's how it is you know i think um the ego takes a lot of you yeah and we don't realize that the ego is just given to us as a survival mode we are only supposed to get survive so they give a fight and flight reaction yeah. that that's why the ego has been given yeah. but not to take each in every you know aspect you, you don't need the ego you rather need your intuition which mm-hmm. comes from your higher self yeah, so yeah definitely and that kind of trust 
But yeah, she had the best evidence. She had the healing she wanted. So it's amazing. Yes. Wonderful. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nikki. That's absolutely brilliant. What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is just kind of take some questions from people. I saw some yeah. scroll up. Is that right? Someone was asking, because obviously people would love to work with you, I'm sure. Someone was asking if you only, can it be done remotely, QHHT, or do they have to come and join you at your home? And, and so I know you Well, QHHT is entirely, so QHHT is entirely um, a modality, which Dolores Cannon wants, I mean, she made it very strict that that has to be done, you know, face to face. Okay. You have to do it, like, on, in person. Yeah. You have to do it in person. But I have developed other, you know, because I've done other, you know, uh, hypnotherapist courses, I've actually made my own modality, which I actually work with. And it is also done through, you know, re uh, remotely, which I have done, you know, few of my own people. So I kind of work in that sense as well. And they, they have marvelous and a lovely, you know, healing aspect with it as well. So, yeah, oh, it can be done, but not cured. Yeah, that's really good to know. I'm just seeing, does anyone else have any questions? If so, drop them in the comments. Um, that was the only one I saw from Christine from KR Healing. Thanks for that, Christine. Um, but if anyone has anything else, I'm scrolling through to see what I can see. Lots of lovely hellos. Lots of people here. Hi, Sharon, good to see you here. Yeah, Annie, yeah. Oh, someone's saying your voice is very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait we have to get there <laughs> we have yeah. to get there <laughs> yeah so if anyone has any questions please drop them in comments um can you yeah so that was the main one i think can you do the work remotely it's just such um such a huge amazing topic that i think most people are just really encapsulated by what you're saying it's just like wow you just mm -hmm. don't realize how much is possible as you say how much is actually going on without us being aware of it we're probably not on the same frequency of everything that's kind of going on um but the healing and the work you're doing is just incredible to be able to help people with you know really severe diagnosis whether it's cancer mm -hmm. or, or any kind of trauma um and just to be able to get them that shift um, and it's just great that you have that care as well. You're spending all day with them. You've got the aftercare afterwards. I know you were in touch with me afterwards. It wasn't just like walk out and never hear from you again. So it's a really nice holistic treatment. Uh, and you genuinely care. A lot of it, what made it special for me was you, Nikki. You're just such an amazing person. And you can see your heart is huge. Um, and it was just, yeah. So it just makes the whole process easier. You don't feel like you're being tricked into saying something or it just feels so relaxing you just find yourself sharing and sharing and sharing it's an incredible experience um thank you Bryn. i think i think one of the questions there is a question over here i could see it it's yeah. it's uh is that okay if i could read it out yeah, go ahead yeah because i've missed it obviously. because I, I'm, I'm able to see it right in front so it says i think it's from sophia and sophia is asking if you are if you don't know what questions to ask does it just come to you whilst you're there? Mm -hmm. I know I know there's something, but I don't know what or why. Well, okay, Sophia, that's a lovely question. Um, what I would say to that is, if you're not even aware of your questions, okay, just come in, you know. And as we were going to talk about it, you will know what your questions will be. And I've had so many people who are totally like, I just don't know what I want to know. <laughs> and I would say, okay, let's do one thing. Let's start with your story first, okay? And let's talk about your story. So we start about their story. They start, you know, that I had this and I had that. And then I say, do you, would, would you like to ask this part? Like, why did this happen or why that happened? Oh, yeah, that's an amazing thing. I really want to know that. And that actually comes in. So it is a very good thing. So the interview kind of gives a lot, you know, um, even people. So sometimes, you know, you've written, uh, you have a set of questions and we add more, even after, you know, the person has prepared those. And I was like, should we just add those in? And they were like, yeah, how about that? I totally forgot about it. So we can make the questions even at that time. So, and you will be aware because what really happens in the session is, you know, suddenly it, it's the energies over here. Like, you know, suddenly it's like, waking you up from a place where you may be sleeping for a long period of time and maybe you did not even go there hence you know i have loads of people say gosh i've never spoken about this to anybody now that's where we understand that 
There could be something there. That's the reason the person doesn't want to talk about it. So that is also an aspect that we can find out more questions from there. Mm-hmm. So this is how we can also find more questions. Yeah. Though, yeah. And the questions don't necessarily have to be profound, from what I understand, mm-hmm. anyway, Sophia. So it could be anything. It could be when I'm going to find my man. <laughs> why? Why my relationship exactly. is ending in? in yes, 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 yes. It could be anything like that. Nikki's very open to all of those questions because it's it's your higher self that has the answers for you anyway. So it doesn't have to be the deep kind of meaningful. Yes. It doesn't really have to be any deep questions. Mm. So usually um, I've had people like even say that I don't want to have any body hair. Can we talk about that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've, had even, I've had all sorts of questions, honestly. Yeah. But I try and incorporate them, you know, any which ways because it's the higher self who's actually doing the talking. Yeah. So I would kind of leave it all to the higher self, like let the higher self speak and we will get all the answers then. Yeah. So yeah, it could be anything, even silly stuff like that. So it's yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thank you for that, Nikki. There is another question there as well, isn't there? What's your advice to people who are scared of spirits? Okay, well, let me give you um, a story over here. I have someone, okay, and she's over here as well with me. Um, So I've had um, a Reiki healer, uh, a crystal Reiki master who had come with me uh, for for a session. Mm -hmm. And um, her main thing was when she was doing Reiki healing, okay, she can sense things. And she wanted to have a good bond with, you know, her guides. And I was like, yeah, why not? You know, that's easy. Let's, let's do that. And then we went ahead, you know, and like when she, when she went ahead and like asked more questions and we went into her life and we found out that she was petrified of spirits. Okay. Petrified, like literally, like she, she just can't do it. Mm-hmm. And, and being a medium, I could seriously see that she is a medium herself. Okay. And I was like, Maybe I just don't want to say this again, you know, but maybe you know, have the experience done, open up that aspect of her so that she understands what she is here for. So anyway, ways, you know, we went in for with a session. She had an amazing, you know, past life regression. So found out that she was an oracle and she was not even a, a human being. She was another being from another planet altogether wow. or another star and uh she she was here she she has been so an oracle is in those days or if people would know what oracles are they can channel messages and they kind of you know do their own thing Mm -hmm. and a person who is like that or had been that past life that they had lived they bring those gifts with them Mm -hmm. in 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 their present life Mm -hmm. and you know she had that and hence you know she could sense she could feel and she was it was exactly like you know she could feel the presence but she was so scared Mm -hmm. after the session after the healing that she received um she did even cry quite a lot but you know after the session you know she's now an entirely different person Mm -hmm. she now is doing all these amazing healings that she's doing where she brings forward these people these their guides okay their loved ones on the and she does the reiki healing and they're so profound Mm -hmm. So I can just say that, you know, it's just given her Reiki, you know, another level has gone on to another level. Yeah. So anybody who is also doing any energy work, mm-hmm. okay, who would like to have any, so if they feel like they're blocked in some matters, they want to open that up, they want to get their Reiki into another level altogether, this is a very, very good technique to actually open those uh, channels for you. Wonderful. So, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And because we're running out of time a little bit, my, I've got a final question for you, <laughs> uh, if it makes sense to you now, I don't know. But you've obviously helped a lot of people um, over the years. And what one piece of advice, knowledge or understanding would you like to share with everyone that you think might help them on their healing or spiritual journey or even with life in general? That's a long question. <laughs> Right. So, you know what? I really feel so big to answer this as if like, you know, so much. No, uh, I just know one thing that whatever that you do in life, okay, just remain humble. Okay. That's the, that's the main thing. Just yeah. remain humble because I've learned that when a person works too much with the ego, you know, they forget that 
that's not why you are here for mm. okay there's a bigger aspect and a bigger purpose that you're here for mm. and the ego is just a little you over there okay mm. and that's not what you are you know you are this bigger aspect than that so what i've learned through my journeys and all you know to help people and to bring healing into their life is just know that you know unconditional love is the only highest energy that ever is and there or ever will be yeah so i really can tell you one thing that unconditional and that's the reason i work entirely with heart centeredness mm -hmm. and um that's taught me a lot mm -hmm. and and this is my way to go ahead and touch others lives so that they could be the same as well So yeah this is one of the only thing that I know that unconditional love and working heart centeredly is the only thing that actually could take you to any level that you like yeah. whether that is any problems any issues any traumas that you're going through if you bring on with it aspect that I know I'm here to do something mm -hmm. whatever that is I'll still go on mm -hmm. but I'll always keep myself heart centered mm -hmm. So that 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 really works. That's beautiful. So yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. It's amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank wow. you. And then for the previous question from my Reiki star, she says thank you. So that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so just to finish up, where can people find you? Get hold of you. Book sessions with you. Where can they go? Right. Okay. So I've got my website, which is www. the tranquility. co. uk. and you can find me on facebook with the same the tranquility and i've got my insta page as well at the same the tranquility.co.uk so yeah. everything is of the same name so you could just find me with that <laughs> follow her and ask any questions oh that's been absolutely brilliant nikki thank you so much it's an amazing insight really took us really really deep there which was wonderful to see and just to kind of open our minds up a lot more to what's possible Um but yeah I really appreciate you coming on and doing this with us tonight. I think we've learned so much, we've learned a lot. Uh and it's just lovely having your energy here in this space and uh even the conversation I think is healing. It's just wonderful. Um yes, do said go to to Nikki's website, follow her on Instagram. If you've got any questions for her, you can obviously ask her as well on on Instagram on her website too. But it's a session I highly recommend. It's completely immersive. just go with this open mind open heart and she'll make you feel absolutely wonderful anyway you walk out of there really feeling so much lighter highly recommend it but yes thank you so much Mary. thank you Gwen. thank you so i just wanted to say at the last you know it was it was lovely doing this with you my first insta live and you made me so comfortable oh, bless you. <laughs> and um just you know just just i know that when you are a lovely person and i always feel blessed that i got in touch with you because you are an evolved soul yourself which you know yeah. you know Gwen has found out about herself in her session too. Okay? <laughs> so she is, she is, you know, you're a profound person yourself. You're a person who has, you know, and helped so many people. Mm -hmm. So my my gratitude to you. Thanks a lot for, you know, helping me and like helping me do my work, which is very very important as well. So thanks a lot and uh, it was a pleasure doing this with oh, you. Thank you once again. It had to be shared. It had to be shared. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Um it's been amazing Reiki Star Sharon trying to read some of the names Sophia as well um thank you for sticking with us to the end <laughs> uh Lee Gedges I think that is oh there's so many people on here uh Kick Kick Cloud Kick Cloud thank you oh but yeah we'll say good night thank you so much Nikki we'll speak again soon thank you. I'm sure but yeah have a wonderful evening everyone wonderful evening Nikki Namaste. Thank you. Have a blessed one. Thank you. Bye everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. <laughs>